In recent months, cheerleaders across the NFL have come forward with complaints about workplace discrimination, and now a group of Redskins cheerleaders are opening up about some disturbing experiences that happened while doing a calendar photo shoot in Costa Rica. In an article published by the New York Times entitled, Redskins Cheerleaders Describe a Trip to Costa Rica That Crossed the Line, interviews with five cheerleaders who were involved with the trip spoke on anonymity, but revealed some of the things they were asked to do. The Times explains one of the concerns of the photo shoot. some of the cheerleaders said they were required to be topless though the photographs used for the calendar would not show nudity. Others wore nothing but body paint. Given the resort's secluded setting, such revealing poses would not have been a concern for the women, except that the Redskins had invited spectators. Then some of the cheerleaders were given special assignment, in which male sponsors picked them to be personal escorts at a nightclub and although the cheerleaders said if they didn't involve sex, they felt as if the team was pimping them out. Nine of the 36 cheerleaders were selected as escorts to the men and many of them cried when they were told, according to the report. They weren't putting a gun to our heads, but it was mandatory for us to go, one of the cheerleaders said. We weren't asked, we were told. Other girls were devastated because we knew exactly what she was doing. After the Costa Rica trip, many of the cheerleaders left the squad saying they felt worthless and unprotected. The Times wrote, it's just not right to send cheerleaders out with strange men when some of the girls clearly don't want to go, one cheerleader who was there said. But unfortunately, I feel like it won't change until something terrible happens, like a girl is assaulted in some way, or raped. I think teams will start paying attention to this only when it's too late. Stephanie Jo Jokian, director of the Redskins Cheerleaders, spoke with the Times and denied how the cheerleaders described the trip. She said the night at the club was not mandatory and the cheerleaders weren't chosen by sponsors. Two cheerleaders did say that Joe Jokian didn't force the cheerleaders to do anything they didn't want to do. The Redskins provided a statement to the Times as well that said, The Redskins cheerleader program is one of the NFL's premier teams in participation, professionalism, and community service. Each Redskin cheerleader is contractually protected to ensure a safe and constructive environment. The work our cheerleaders do in our community, visiting our troops abroad, and supporting our team on the field is something the Redskins organization and our fans take great pride in.